I'm back. Tom's back. What is going on, guys? We are officially back with another video. We are sitting up here in the Otter in northern Wisconsin today. Middle of winter, big snowstorm coming in. And uh, we're going to do a bite which we have not filmed at all this winter. I haven't even really done it until, um, well, pretty much today. And we're fishing one of those classic scenarios, big clear lake and uh, kind of a large bay system and then a very shallow weed edge. And a lot of times what you see in these really clear bodies of water is that crappies will do one of two things. Some might suspend out in the basin, but a lot of these fish are weed fish and they come in super shallow and uh, right under the ice. And we're sitting in seven feet right now, just kind of getting set up. And what we're hoping is, you know, as the sun kind of comes up here, a lot of these fish push into the weeds and uh, we start catching a whole bunch of nice crappies and bluegills, very shallow under the ice. And we'll even be able to sight fish these fish um, you know, once we get a little bit of light shining through down there. So um, that's kind of the plan. So stay tuned. Snowy day out here in northern Wisconsin. Me, we got Mitchell. Any words, Mitchell? Nope. Mitchell's got no words. And uh, we're targeting some of these winter panfish in a very common situation, the shallow weed edge. Hooked up right off the bat. Not big. First bluegill of the day. Not a big one right there. Just kind of average size. What we hope as the sun starts coming up here, we start getting into some bigger bluegills than that. But that one bit a plastic, which, whoop, there he goes. It's always a good sign. And uh, I'm just rocking and rolling with the Elliott 44 inch or 42 inch noodle real light line and then just probably even see the glow if you give me a second here because we got real low light right now acme pro grade tungsten in that glow color right there and uh, just a little white plastic on there and that's the deal we hope to kind of you know in these real shallow weed situations a lot of times these fish come through almost right under the ice so we're only fishing you know four or five feet down and seven eight feet of water right now Hooked up right there. Fish on. Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys see how fast that is in this shallow water. There we go. Nice crappie to start. He's kind of snowy. Not too bad, huh, Mitchell? Yeah, not, nice color. not big yet, but uh, we'll definitely get some bigger ones than that. But man, this right under the ice bite. I was jigging three feet down when that fish came in. A lot of times these crappies in these situations just fly around right under the ice. And uh, if you're not jigging way up high, a lot of times you won't even mark those fish. There we go. There's another nice one to get things going. One bluegill, one crappie so far. There we go. We'll let that guy go. Find your way back down and bring me some more in there, little buddy. Right there. Fish on. He's got one. Oh, yep, 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 yep. And did you guys watch that flasher, how that one just came in right oh, on top nice. of me? Look at that. I was sitting there working another fish. And that fish literally just came, must have came flying in from the side, obviously, and bit. You guys can see how close these fish are under the ice. Hopefully the flasher cam kind of did a good job of showing you guys that, but that's what we're after right there. That's a nice, tall, northern Wisconsin crappie. Probably about, I would say, maybe about right at 13, maybe just under 13, maybe? What do you under, think? What under. do you think? You think it's just under? Under. Yeah. Nice, tall one. Super nice crappies. And that's what we're after. We hope these fish just kind of keep funneling in as the day goes on. There we go. Let's let that guy go. I'll do it again. Kind of funny, you know, nothing on a dead stick yet. You know, we've only caught two crappies. But uh, nothing. we got two dead sticks set up behind us just with minnows on, you know, three, four feet under the ice. They have uh, not yet gone off. But uh, the key is definitely keeping that jig way up, almost right under the ice, and letting those fish see it there running around way up high. Right there, fish on, little guy. Not quite the size we're after right there, but same thing, you know, just came in super high in the water. And I uh, actually just switched to a waxy, which I almost never do, because I had so many fish, a bunch of fish come in and not bite. So maybe sometimes just hanging that waxy in front of them and just doing just incredibly small movements with the jigs enough to get bit when fish are a little bit more finicky. Right 
right there. Fish on. Right under the ice. I think it's going to be a ooh, a nice bluegill there. Not a big one, but that's definitely, you know, what we're after. Just a whole bunch of these nice, nice sized panfish today. Crappies, gills, a little bit of everything. And we'll definitely get some bigger than that today. A lot of times these gills will get a little bit better going once the sun's a little higher. There we go. Beautiful little bluegill. A um, couple bluegills now and a couple of crappies. And we'll take them all. There we go. Back for more. Right there, good crappie mark, I think. What do we got? No, it's actually a big gill, I think. There we go, that's a little bit better. <laughs> there we go, we can't figure out why Mitchell's not catching any yet. I don't know if it's just... I'm not marking fish. He's not even like marking. There's no fish over here. He's not Five even marking away. fish, really. There we go. <laughs> Blowing my mind. There's no justice in this sport, it's oh. fishing. There we go. Yeah, I picked the right hole. Nice bluegill right there. That's that one. is what we're after for sure. Bunch of these nice guys running around up here in the weeds. <laughs> We'll take all of them like that we can get. And he came in up high like the crappie too. And a lot of times you'll see just the nicer fish running up higher in the water column. So if you're not a couple feet down, you almost never even get a shot at some of these nicer fish. There we go. Nice bluegill there. Just on that little Acme 3 mil Pro Grade Wonder Bread color, Mitchell. That's what I'm using. I don't know if it matters or not, Mitchell. It must be. It's calling the fish over there. But I'm, I'll throw it out there. Hook up, fish on, that's it. Mm. Nice bluegill. Mm. Nice bluegill right there. That is what we're after. Look at that, beautiful all orange. Real orange belly on that guy. We'll take him, we'll take him. Mitchell has made a big move mid-morning now. Four feet. And uh, he's moved from over here to now over here. Are you feeling more optimistic or no? Dude. Just keep grinding, son. I'm hoping to catch a fish today. Mitchell. We'll catch a fish by the time today is over. There we go. Look at that nice bluegill going back. And this is just one of those classic kind of community bite areas, you know. We're getting here early and late. Definitely helps, obviously. And, uh, you know, a lot of these fish just coming in so tight right under the ice. Mm hmm. Take it out to decent water. Yeah. Oh, we are hooked up right there. <laughs> All I'm on the phone. Oh, big blue right oh, there. Oh my gosh, it's a tanker. That is definitely, man, they are real lethargic, Mitchell. I mean, when these fish get on me, I'm hardly jigging the bait anymore. Just sitting real still and just kind of letting that rod tip go, boop, and just kind of barely load. I'm having a super light action rod with a super light tip like this 42 noodle. <laughs> there he goes, back down the hole. Super important for catching a lot of these fish. The guy literally has the honey hole right there. I got the honey hole in the shack. Or maybe it's just skill. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say <laughs> Oh, Tommy boy. Oh my gosh, is it possible? It is. It is it, possible. That uh, is a solid gill. Hold him up to the camera there. My Mitchell's. first actual decent one. That is a nice one. Day. Take him like that. Yep. Hope there's more where he came from. I actually might bail on the shack and go outside should hole hop it's tough almost out, tough out the cold and do it it's almost so snowy and windy out there is where you weren't going to get good footage hole hopping because you definitely obviously do much better hole hopping but um you know sitting in the shack has not been too bad so far hooked up right there feels like a decent fish all right not too bad it'll be good right there there we go Kind of putting it together you know it's got a little bit of work this morning getting them to bite but um it seems like you know jigging these jigging these shallow weed fish especially bluegills very different than let's say jigging you know bait a bunch of those basin fish they're a lot of times a lot more charged up and basically what we're trying to do is you know when we're keeping this bait way up high and we're not marking anything that's when we're trying to do all the attracting work and normally what that looks like is kind of a hard pounding action on the jig so we'll kind of get it down there in the zone and basically all we're doing is sitting here and doing this with the rod right here just getting that tip just kind of vibrating like that 
And basically what that's doing is the jig's not moving up or down, it's just quivering a lot like that. And then as that fish kind of comes up to bite, we're just slowing it way, way down. And then it's almost like they want it almost just sitting still by the time they bite it. Not a whole lot of twitching at all. And you know, I always say jig through the bite and that definitely makes a big difference. But we're trying to keep that bait moving just absolutely as small as possible when a fish is actually about to bite. So, you know, that attracting quality, working that bait high in the water, getting a little bit more twitchy. As that fish comes up to bite, maybe just raise a little bit, slow that tip way down, just enough to still keep that jig just barely moving. And then all the bites are the same. You pretty much just watch them real soft like that and subtle. Oh, 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 man, Hooked is up. that a nice fish? Right there. Ooh. Not too shabby. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Another nice scale. Tell you what though, it is definitely slowing down, but uh, that's a wrap. This is kind of one of those bites that's generally pretty accessible for everybody everywhere you're fishing. And a lot of times it's these big community spots, big weedy bays, and uh, you know it's ultimately a lot of uh, what you guys probably spend a lot of time doing. Obviously we spend most of the time walleye fishing, but in the middle of winter, come out here, get a ton of action like this, is a super fun way to fish. And definitely doing stuff real finessey, real fin real finicky fish, fishing small, small movements on the rod, high up to the ice, um, and the shallow water is definitely key. But um, we actually have to film something else today as well. So we're gonna start breaking the otter down here and uh, we'll see you guys back at the ramp. All right, well, we are back in the truck. That is gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed watching this one. Just a quick little morning, little panfish throw down on kind of a, a situation that happens pretty much everywhere you're gonna go across the Midwest. You know, a lot of these lakes set up very similar to the lake we were on today. And uh, it is kind of a fun, cool bite. And a lot of times you might have to drill a lot more holes to find those fish in the weeds. A lot of times just kind of find that edge and just kind of getting just into it. It's kind of what I like to do. But um, always a fun bite, catching a whole bunch of nice bluegills. A few crappies today. Not as many crappies as I thought we were going to get, but still a good time. Mitchell, was it a good time? Uh, <laughs> Mitchell, for, for you maybe. I mean, I finally started catching fish when I bounced outside, but just none of them were very big so it wasn't very yeah our, for me today the size of our bite kind of shrunk as the day went on and yeah, uh the so morning kind of so turned so into mid-morning still getting some decent fish but um kind of that classic um up in the weeds numbers panfish bite so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video um we'll be back to walleye fishing soon um i believe anyways if the walleyes want to cooperate it's kind of that middle of winter now where everything's just a little bit harder to do so um like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video stay tuned for more content we'll see you guys next time <laughs>